California community is still reeling tonight after the shocking killing of Lori Carlton. Police say the store owner, mother of nine, an LGBTQ community supporter, was shot by a man who made remarks about a pride flag on display outside her store. NBC's Maggie Vespa has the details. We're all suffering. The whole community is. Tonight, in what's being called a senseless act of violence, a California community in mourning after authorities say a shop owner, designer for the stars, wife and mother, was shot and killed by someone angry about the pride flag hanging outside her store. Narrow head units respond to the shots fired. San Bernardino County deputies say 66 year old Laura Ann Carlton died Friday at her store, Magpie, near Lake Arrowhead. Investigators say the suspect had moments earlier made several disparaging remarks about a rainbow flag that stood outside the store. Robin Lyles owns nearby shops and says others in the neighborhood had noticed a man peering into store windows and ducking between cars, but she had no idea things had turned violent until a customer came running panicked. Basically, scream, Lori's been shot, close your door, he might still be out there. And I said, oh my gosh, is she okay? And she said, no, I think they're saying she's been killed. And hearing the words is something very shocking. Authorities say the suspect fled on foot, leaving Carlton to die at the scene. Deputies found them more than a mile north of the shop. They say the suspect was armed with a handgun. Authorities writing, when deputies attempted to contact the suspect, a lethal force encounter occurred and the suspect was pronounced deceased. California Governor Gavin Newsom calling it absolutely horrific, adding this disgusting hate has no place in California. The shop still marked by bullet holes, now surrounded by a rain Mo colored memorial. Carlton, an outspoken ally of the LGBTQ community, leaving behind a husband of 28 years and a loving blended family that included nine children. Two of her daughters releasing a heartbreaking message on social media, remembering their mother as fearless, cool, and compassionate, always putting others first. Tributes also pouring in from celebrity customers and clients, including Jamie Lee Curtis, Sex in the City's Kristen Davis, and Frederick Sewell. Renowned director Paul Feig posting, Lori Carlton was my friend. If people don't think anti-gay and trans rhetoric isn't dangerous, think again. And tonight, police have identified the 27-year-old gunman. And sheriff's officials tell NBC News they are investigating the killing as a possible hate crime. With me now to discuss Sarah Kate Ellis, president and CEO of Glad Sarah Kate. This is a senseless and horrific crime. It's also one you and your organization don't find shocking. Tell me more. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't find it shocking. We just released a report with the ADL at the end of June that looked at the past year for violence and, and hate speech against our community, or threats of violence, I should say, and there were over 350 um, violent attempts against our community in the past year. We've seen an enormous uptick in violence against our community at drag events, at places that are supposed to be safe spaces, and now we're seeing it against our allies. Remember, nine months ago, practically to the day, was the shooting, the mass shooting at Club Q back in November. Um, so we have um, seen tremendous violence against our community this year, especially. Sheriff's officials tell NBC News that the killing is being investigated as a possible hate crime. The gunman had a history of making posts that were critical of the LGBTQ community on multiple social media platforms. Your response, Sarah Kate? So, you know, one thing that we do at GLAAD is we release a report every year about this. It's called the Social Media Safety Index, where we look at the top five platforms and we measure them. They all fail in terms of keeping the LGBTQ community safe on their platforms. And that's because all of this rhetoric is allowed to rise and be and then they're monetizing it. Um, and so I'm not surprised. I mean, they accomplice people uh, are an accomplice in rhetoric and hate speech against our community, these platforms, especially Twitter or X as it's called now, and Facebook are leading the pack on this. Sarah Kate, I don't need to tell you the moment we find ourselves in. It's not just rhetoric. It is state legislation targeting LGBTQ Americans all across this country. One of the things that struck me 
about Lori Carlton's story was the fact that this was not the first time she had caught flack for having that flag outside of her store. It got taken down multiple times, and each time she put up an even bigger flag. So for people who are watching, who feel disheartened by what they hear from our leaders, by what they see in action from our leaders, by the fact that this is a story that is transpiring in the year 2023. What is your advice to Americans who want to combat this kind of hate, who want to be on the right side of history? So I want to say two things to what you just said. One is that there have been over 600 anti-LGBTQ pieces of legislation that have been proposed this past year. That's just from January till now. Um, against our community, a marginalized community. So we have been being used as a political football by the Republicans. And this rhetoric that they're spreading, spreading this is not America. 84% of Americans believe in LGBTQ equality and acceptance in this country. This is a small minority who are ginned up by politicians and rhetoric and go out and use guns to hurt people and violence to hurt people. So this is not America. This is not the majority of who we are. Just as Lori is such a tribute and always stood up and never back down, and neither do most Americans, um, because we believe this is a, what America is about, equality, diversity, inclusion. Indeed, it is. At least that is who I want to believe we are. Sarah Kate Ellis, as always, thank you so much for your time.